Okay, um, we are saying, uh, we say, welcome to another edition of our video. We are going to be watching Benjamin again live. Um, today we are going to be looking at a very important concept that has been confusing so many advanced level students. And today we are going to be looking at it in a very grand style and in a very good explanatory manner. We are going to be looking at the production possibility curve. The production possibility curve there explains what the problem of what scarcity, choice, and opportunity cause. It can be used, the production possibility curve can be used to explain all of what these problems of what scarcity, choice, and opportunity cause. Using this production possibility curve, we can explain how choice is made, how scarcity, and how opportunity cause is made. So now, the production possibility curve is therefore defined as what? Well as a curve which shows the possible combination where a nation or an individual can produce using its resources where it can either be a good Y or good X or it can be capital good or consumer's good. In a production possibility curve, we have several assumptions that we need to make before coming out with what, with what is known as a production possibility curve. Is it, if these assumptions are not there, we can come up with the production possibility curve. Number one of our assumptions when we are talking about what the production possibility curve, we must always make use of resources are what are mobile. Actually, resources must be mobile before we come up with the production possibility curve. Actually, or secondly, we talk about what the state of technology is constant. When you are assuming on the production possibility curve, the state of technology must always be constant. And there must be what? Two goods to be produced, that's our third assumption. Either it can be a good X or good Y, or it can be a, a capital good or a consumer's good. And resources are fully utilized. If you are coming up with a production possibility, you must either draw that the resources must be used. And the last part of it is say what well, resources are given and are fixed. Actually, resources must be given and it will also need to be fixed. Now, how can we come up? With the production possibility curve, how can we illustrate what the problem of scarcity, choice, and opportunity was? It can be illustrated in a table, and as well, it can be illustrated in what in a curve. Now, looking at the table or the board, we have what a combination, a possible combination where a country can produce either in good X or in good Y. Now, let's say producing a good, the combination that we start at A, B, C, D. And uh, uh, producing a good X, the country can produce a what? Combination 0, combination Z, and combination 10, combination 25, 33, and 37. And in the other part of group Y, the country must produce a lot 190, 60, 28, and 0. Now, I want to clarify you, student. When you see a production possibility curve that has been given to you, let's say a, a question was placed before you. Without a zero, without maybe good um, X starting with a zero and good Y ending with a zero, or good X ending with a zero and good Y starting with a zero. No, that question was not well said. You need to do what? You need to re re set back that question. They have just given you to do what? To test your intellectual reasoning or capacity. Now, let's say for example here there was no zero, we had 10, 9, and 10, 10. Let's say we have here 10, 25, 37, 33, 37, 40. And this other part we have here, let's say um, 28, 60, 90, 100, 50 something. You have to reverse the question. Each of the questions, a production possibility curve to be a true production possibility curve, one of the curve must start with a zero and the other part of the curve for what? End with a zero. Or one must end with a zero. Let's say this one end with a zero and the other start with a zero. Or this one start with a zero and the other start with a zero. That is how, that is how a production possibility curve must begin. Now they can use another method of using, they can talk about draw a transformation curve. A transformation curve is also known as a production possibility curve. They can also say, draw an opportunity cost curve. An opportunity cost curve is known as a production possibility curve. They can also say, what is a production possibility boundary? The production possibility boundary is known as what? The production possibility curve. Those are other names that they have used to do or to transform it, to just play over your knowledge. Now, a diagram has already, a table has been shaded. How can we draw a, a curve? 
who is in this table is what we are interested in getting. Now, this is our curve. Now, what are these kinds? Let's say we are producing here at the word X and good X, and here we are producing our good word Y. Now, look at. Let's, let's not just help it to put. Let's say, in all your curve that you draw, this must always start with this place must be a zero. Because it indicates a production of the word with X and also production of the Y. You can still change it and put capital to the consumer to or consumer to the capital to the It depends. But we need a curve. Now, this is zero. Now, since this is called is a curve with Y, we we'll start with what? 28. And then we we'll propose 60, 90, 100. And from this other part, we'll have what? 0, 10. 25, 33, 37. Now, if this country is producing at what? Zero. He shows that what? He has used all his resources in the production of what? Good Y. That is producing 100 unit of what? Of good Y and nothing for good Y. For good X. It is producing about 100 this year and nothing for what? For X. Now, if this country decides to do what? To forgo 10 units of good X to realize it, forgo 10 units of this is good X or good Y to produce 10 units of what? 25 units. You see that the, the production for this curve will also change. Now, this 10 and 90. So, our 10 here and 90 around here. Easy. And now, 25, 60. These are 25, and then these are 60. And then, we also have what? 30, 33, 28. 33, 28. This is 33, yeah, and then this 28. And then we have what? 37. 37, 0. The country has done what? He has used all the resources in the production of what? Good what? Good X and nothing for the production of what? Of good Y. Now, this is 37 and 0. Now, our diagram has been drawn. What is here is what is known as what? The quantitative PPC. Remember, we have three types of PPC. We have the straight line PPC, we have the concave PPC, and then we have the converse PPC. Let me just illustrate this. This is known as what? The straight line. On this other part, you want to explain the concave. This is the concave PPC. Um, this is the convex. The converse PPC. This is the Joe Why this is the concave PPC? Now, we have drawn a diagram. How can opportunity cost be illustrated in it? Now, if this country decides to forego, that is, that at first it was producing what? 100 units of what? Of good Y. Now, why he was producing 100 units of good Y? He produced nothing for what? For good X. Then now, this country decided to forego what? 10 units. That is minus 100 from 90. He has forego what? 10 units of what? Of good X. From good Y, sorry. To produce what? 10 units of what? With a galaxy add from here to here, you have 10. As he has forgot what? 10, he has a minus from here to here, and then you add from here to here. So he has forgot what? 10 units to produce what? 10 units of what? Of good X. Now, how, what is the opportunity cost of forgoing? Now, let's say he has forgot what? He was producing at 100, easy. This is a 100. Now, he decided to come and produce at this level, at 90. Now, now the opportunity cost for him to produce what? To produce of uh, um, 10 units of, 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 of good what? Good X is to forgo what? 10 units of what? Of good Y. He has forgo 10 units. That is, is because what? There is scarcity in this economy. 
and then when there is scarcity, resources are not available to satisfy every need. So the country has to forego something to gain something. The opportunity cost of need for going this is 10, as I've been saying. 